Hey, how's it going? Let's do the herringbone technique tonight. It's uh, it's for card making. When's the last time the crafty cat lady did a card? Uh, it's been several years. <laughs> and I'm not really going to do the card, the whole card. I'm just going to show you the herringbone technique. The first time I saw the herringbone technique... I think was it was uh, it was a couple of weeks ago and it was the video was dated three years ago I think and I thought hey that's kind of cool and then this thought just popped into my head while I was watching the video and I thought has anybody done this before it just seems like you know when you see a paper technique it's probably been done before so off I went into YouTube search and I found several videos, several videos from as early as maybe a month ago to three months, five months, a year ago, the three year one that I watched, and then uh, five years ago, and I found one 12 years ago, and then the last one I found was 14 years ago. And I watched the 14-year one and the 12-year one and, of course, that 3-year one. I'm not sure if I watched the 5-year one or not. I'm trying to remember if I did. I just kind of went through search, you know, and I was concentrating on see how far back this goes till, you know, I <laughs> can't do it anymore. So, I try when I was watching the 3-year video, I was also thinking, can I try this with duct tape? Not duct tape. Can I try this with washi tape? Yes, I could probably do it with duct tape. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet, but I imagine the canvas would be pretty big to do it with duct tape. Of course, you know, I could cut it into smaller strips and everything. Like, I'm going to show you tonight with these small strips. <laughs> okay, so I tried it with washi tape. And this was the first card that I did with washi tape. That is pretty cool. I did it on a card that had some brown paint on it or marker or something like that. So that's why you see this strip looks a little tannish here and then whiter here. And that's because this washi tape, almost all washi tape, is semi-transparent. It's very difficult to find washi tape that is not semi-transparent. I think, oh, I'm, I'm going to show you another card that I have where I covered the whole thing with one big thing of washi tape, and that one does not appear to be semi-transparent. Okay, so I did this one, right? And then the next one I did was this one. And this one is, I'm going to show you, uh, originally, oh, just dropping things and everything, uh, it's this, where it shows Nescafe Taster's Choice, Hazelnut, Artificial Flavor, oh my gosh, Artificial, almost all hazelnut flavors for any product is artificially flavored instant coffee beverage are li these little packets and then craftsmanship made simple and I'm pointing these out for a reason and then hazelnut okay I need my phone okay it's this way so if you look right here you see Nescafe tasters choice I don't know if you can see the choice part and then you see a little bit of wording right here. And I think that uh, the other, oh, right here, a little bit, some words. Craftsmanship made simple. <laughs> yep, this is semi-transparent. It's a, These are really cool designs, right? I had to fix it by putting additional layers of washi tape only where the wording was so I think I I think I got it all and that washi tape likes to come up it doesn't like to stick on anything except itself like sticky to sticky anyway this one I did with 
uh, scrapbook paper, two different designs of scrapbook paper, and, you know, they, they no longer have this pad of paper anymore, and that's a shame, too. There are a lot of floral designs on it. Then this one I did. Uh, now this one is according to... This is also scrapbook paper, these strips are. But this was done according to the 14-year-old video. I wish I would have had... Uh, I wish I would have taken a picture of this before I drew the black lines on. No, just picture it without the black lines. It's kind of hard to do that, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of hard to do it. But I wanted to do... I put the black lines on to kind of bring these out. And it really does make these pop a little bit more. Uh, okay, so I have this one. Now this one is the 14-year method. Or the 14-year-old method, rather, is to take double-sided tape. Now I have 3-inch wide double-sided tape. That really thin stuff that I've used in previous videos. Most recent previous crafting videos. And then to take little strips of the paper and do the herringbone technique. You put one across like that. And then you take another one, put it there, put it there. And that gives you four different areas to work with. To create four different herringbone designs, basically. And that was super difficult, by the way. I don't know how this person did it. You know, actually, I think what she did was she only did a little bit of it and then came back in and showed the finished result because this took a long time for me to do. I'm glad I didn't do it on video. <laughs> and I don't think I'll ever do that again. Boy, that really takes, it takes a lot of patience. And I do generally have a lot of patience. But you also have to be very exact with your strip placement. Okay, then this one has uh, a layer of washi tape underneath the stamp one here. And I kind of folded it over. You can kind of see, oh, this is a... <laughs> Are you hungry? Okay, so this is... Uh, this packaging, rather, this comes from the 24-7 bags, probably the pint size box. And the tape is here. I'm, I'm looking to see if I can see through it and I can't. Oh, maybe a little bit right there, right? Because most washi tape is sem semi-transparent, so you can pretty much see through it. Oh, maybe this would be a good, a good indicator. Can you see the lines, the barcode lines? You can't, can you? Maybe a little bit right there. A little bit. An itty bitty bit. Yeah, kind of. But man, this is uh, much thicker than most washi tape. And obviously it is thicker than this washi tape. These are two different designs of very narrow tape. And I did the herringbone design on there and on there. And you know, the idea that I had in my head was not originally was not to make this but to make i think kind of like this only to do like one here and one here and one here and one here like that and i realized that i couldn't do it because this is too narrow the last one that i did was just this regular card this size card i uh, what is the size of this card? <laughs> this is six by four and a half inches. All okay. right. <laughs> I could not remember it. Okay, then uh, the last one that I did was this one. Let's just do it at this one. Yeah, you can see the word believe right, right there, right there, right. And... You can see some other words. There's some other words there. And there's a fern, right? Part of a fern, some plants. Those are all behind the, these strips. Now, this picture, 
looks super duper busy. It's way too busy for me. And I looked at it, I was like, oh man, this, this was a mistake. <laughs> I have to fix it. So I thought, I wonder if I can take individual, some of the strips off, some of the strips of tape off. So I did that and it's coming up. <laughs> Washi tape is notorious for not sticking the way you want it to stick. So I'm going to have to, I don't know, Mod Pods this too. I don't know. <laughs> and so that's what I did. I took off some of the strips, the red strips, or the redder strips, I should say, from this side. And then the light orange, orange and what is that, whitish color. Uh, from this side and I got this design which I I really like this one now this one looks a lot better you can really see the plants coming through from the the washi tape there's washi tape on the bottom and once again it's like six inches wide I uh, the first one I did when I put tried to put it on here I cut the washi tape to fit exactly onto this four and a half by six inches and then I realized I can't put that on that's impossible to put on so I kind of just went over a little bit and I did it that way did I curl it under I didn't curl it or fold it under but I did take the tape this is originally a half inch wide and I just I just slit them in half and then did the obviously I didn't slit these <laughs> in half but I took the tape put it on the mat and then used the ruler and uh, slit them in half so that I would have multiple pieces uh, very narrow pieces okay so I have here uh, blue some blue strips and these are like marbled a marble design and you know this might still be on Amazon I'll have to see if this paper is still on Amazon it's kind of cool so I, I want to go with those two contrasting colors <laughs> and I'm gonna try this I just restocked on my uh, portable tape runners here this is by Tel Telex Sun. It says, ideal for scrapbooking and gift wrapping. 10 meters by 8 millimeters. So, 8 millimeters. Oh, that might be... <laughs> this might be too wide. No. <laughs> no, we can't have that. Well, we'll see. Okay. So... The first thing I want to do is try and make up my mind. <laughs> what do I want to do? Oh, see, I'm going to have to do... Let's do... I'm going to do it this way, I think. You want to have... Run a line across the page like that and hope... I'm going to zoom in a lot so you can't see any of my gray hairs. Yes, I have them. Now, what is that on the paper? Is that, what is that? Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I still can't see it. It is, I'm looking at the field monitor. Okay, now, the, the mistake I made <laughs> is that I used the middle of the paper but that's okay I can uh, no problem wait <laughs> wait excuse me excuse my reach I'm just gonna cut this off right there okay this mistake I made I should have started it at one end of the paper right okay now I don't know if this is gonna work uh, with this but I want it to work. That's the thing. Okay. Okay. So what I can do here is I can use this. Oh, see now this worked out for me. <laughs> and now Tammy will attempt to 
stay in the camera range. You're zoomed in big time. And oh yeah, <laughs> big time. If you have a lot of patience and a lot of free time, I recommend giving this a whirl. It's kind of a cool idea. And you know, everybody makes it think makes makes it seem like I'm gonna do this here. This here. Boy. <laughs> I just send that cap of flying. And so it, it worked out actually that I put the paper in the middle. Okay, I'm going to come out just a, a smidge. Not too much, though. Yes, I know. I'm going to, I, that's, I'm going to be doing that all night long. I'm, do I have all night? Sure. <laughs> I'm just going to do that. Oh, totally off camera, right? I'm so sorry. Uh, how much off camera was I? I put this on. Boy, I really need to remember. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do instead of putting the tape on here, it becomes totally invisible. This is clear tape. Clear tape. Uh, I'm going to put it on the strip. And, and that means I can come out a little. So I'm not totally out of view. I keep forgetting that I'm zoomed in. All the great YouTube creators make this mistake. <laughs> okay, now what I want to do is I want to do this. Is that crooked? <laughs> right there. Hmm, I might be able to cut that right now. Okay, so I'm going to do that, right? And then take this again. Now, I could do the blue again, but then it would look like it's double blue here. So I'll do that. And you get the idea? This is going to be interesting when I go in fast-forward mode. Yeah. <laughs> yep. At least the tape runner works. Another thing I thought about using... Again, I'm going to tip it under there. I thought about using just plain glue because then I have a little wiggle room, right, with the with the paper and the tape. Uh, not the tape, but the paper. Let's go with that. I wonder how many times these these creators, these crafters. Oh, that was, uh, I went a little too far as so I keep that open there. Oh, no. What cat? Hi, coconut. <laughs> is it? Nope, that's not. That is not sticky. Coconut says hi in her own silent way okay so then we have that cool okay let me grab another piece of paper and what I'm going to do is roughly <laughs> I knew that would be that size too
So you can do, I've seen some people uh, do take the big old long strip and then just put it on here and cut off the excess. So I'm kind of doing it a little bit different. You know, everybody does things in their own way. This looks a little less wide than the purple one there, right? And... Right there, like that. I could do it like that. Oh, maybe that would be... I don't know if that's best or not, right? I'm doing one... Oh, no. Now see. Now see, I can lift it up. And turn the paper around. Okay. How can I do it this way? I'm going to do it this way. I keep going back. No, I'm not. <laughs> I, I want to do it this way, that way, this way, that way. I can't find my mojo, I guess it is. That's what I get for grading at Blackboard. Now, it is Saturday. Saturday morning sometime after midnight. I should be in bed, I know. Get those little glue globs off of there. And then... I'm gonna turn this around. Play by play. Oh, now see. I want that to be flush against the other sheet there, the other strip. That is cool. You see how that is? That's cool. And then this one maybe a little bit wider. Okay, to cut these strips, I also got a new... See how that's a little bit wider. I bought a new guillotine cutter. I actually have a guillotine cutter right here. I have this little tiny Fiskars 6 by 9 inch, I think it is. But I needed a bigger guillotine cutter, so I got a doll a guillotine cutter. I need to do a, a haul because... I got that and some other. I got the tape runners and washi tape. Although I'm thinking that I maybe got those. Oh. Now, see, you do have to be careful when you cut off the strips here because you want them to kind of be straight, straight ish. <laughs> the dog agrees. getting cold. That's what he's saying. We got a cold front in. See, it sounds like it's cold. <laughs> this is like, what's with this cold front? I thought we were done with that. It's still February. <laughs> oh, intruder alert or something. <laughs> I don't know. Now, see, that is a little off right... Is that off right there? Yes, it is. Now, what do I do? What do I do to fix that? What do you do to fix those areas where you just didn't get quite close enough to that? Where you could do this. You could do this, but you will tear your paper. <laughs> like I just did. Then just hold it down. Hold it down, down there at that point. Okay, let's see. You know, I am very happy that the paper is not... You know, uh, sliding across the...
the mat. I know you were waiting. Sliding across the what? <laughs> I do that. I yell at myself in in editing. It's like spit it out. <laughs> I am my worst critic. Okay. Then we'll take uh, this thinner one since we're getting. Oh, that's almost. I can do. We're getting near the end here. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. And this way. Oh, it's harder. It's much harder to do the the runner on such a short amount of space. It was a dark spot, and I thought it was a glue glob or something. Now, that that goes over a little bit. Now, if you go over a little bit, because I, I encountered that as well, you can take a, an X-Acto knife, and you can trim off just that itty-bitty spot if you want to. It's, it's not really a big deal, but if you are making a card for somebody, and they run their hand over it, they might think, oh, look, there's a... There's a mistake there. <laughs> That's okay. People make mistakes. I did put that on there. Oh, I did. I did put that on there. I forgot all about it. I don't know if it's totally on there. Never mind. It's on there. And you just keep going like that. So that's what they say. And then they cut it off and they show you what it looks like as the finished product. But I am going to do... Oh, there's a little bit of sticky on here still. So that is... That worked out for me. Yeah. Oh, that did not work out for me. And why didn't it work out for me? Because there's a little tiny white spot there. And I don't want that white spot there. So hold on to that for a second. And... Do this one, because I am going to use that other one. Just not for this area. Okay. And then this one goes like that. And now with this wider one, I think I can I can do that one. Yes, I can. Now the fun part. The fun part is trimming off the extra papers. Oh, sound. See, that didn't stick. What's up with that? Now, mind you, the, this is a cream colored card here, and I still can't see the white tape. I think I'm cutting the. It feels like I'm cutting the paper, am I? It's a little on the crooked side. <laughs> it's a little on the rough side there. Now I really am cutting the card. Timmy, stop cutting the card. Oh yeah, that's definitely cutting the card. Just keep going too, why don't you? Holy moly. <laughs> At this point, I don't care. Okay, I care. <laughs> okay, so yeah, put those aside, because you might actually need those little pieces. And they're all nice and sticky. Oh, didn't I have one? <laughs> now you see why...
these card makers will only show one part of the card of this herringbone technique. And then they're like, and that's it. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not it. Finish the card. Okay. I had thought about doing the glue method. And then I thought, what if it buckles? <laughs> that would be out of the question. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to fast forward. I'm just going to go with the long strips here.
Now, you know, it, it makes a lot of sense to do a small card, but these cards right here, oh, I can't cut that. These cards, um, four and a half by six inches, and I am very good at cutting off the card with those scissors. Uh, but with these, if you use the quarter inch, this looks really cool. I love it. And, I mean, I probably could have done maybe one eighth inch strips. But it was hard to cut the quarter inch strips with that with the big guillotine. And, so an eighth inch. And some of these look like they're like this one looks like it's an eighth inch wide right and this looks a quarter inch wide so it's possible that i did cut some but even still the thinner the narrower strips and the it still looks pretty good so that's how you do the herringbone technique please comment like share and subscribe thanks for watching and have a creative day bye